I am Dr. Tanmay Arma Jai, Consultant International Cardiologist from Manipal Hospital, Kharadi, Pune. We, we, we nowadays come across many patients presenting to hospital with heart attacks, especially youngsters who are presenting to hospital with heart attacks and cardiovascular diseases. And of course, we all are aware that uh, cardiovascular disease is one of the highest risk factor uh, or major diseases leading to high mortality rates in uh, overall in world. So uh, let's uh, try to understand the, uh, what is what are cardiovascular diseases and what are the major risk factors that leads to cardiovascular diseases. So cardiovascular diseases is nothing but the uh, blockages in the arteries that supplies blood to major organs of the body. Say for example, heart, brain, or other major organs of the body. So uh, what are the risk factors that uh, that leads to these diseases and uh, present the patient with? Uh, cardiac diseases. S uh, say, uh, for example, uh, diet, unhealthy diet, uh, increased cholesterol or ba bad cholesterol in your body, high blood pressure, uncontrolled or undiagnosed diabetes for longer duration, unhealthy or inactive lifestyle, stress, alcohol, smoking, and post COVID status. These are the major risk factors that we come across and that leads to uh, cardiovascular diseases. So uh, what we need to do is keep a check on all these risk factors in our day-to-day -day life, uh, say once in a year, and make sure that all these risk factors are into correct check. The most important of these are the smoking, which we nowadays see in youngsters. Uh, many people do have a habit of smoking, which is one of the major risk factors can be that can be avoided. Other is stress. Everybody has stress in life, but it's all about how do we manage your stress. So management of stress is very important, and of course in healthy diet and lifestyle, say for example sedentary lifestyle or in unhealthy diet, more in carbs and fats leads to increased cholesterol and uh, of course cardiovascular disease. So we need to have a low carb, low fats and more proteins and fibers in your diet in your day-to-day practice and uh, exercise is one of the important, most important thing that can keep yourself and your heart healthy and fit.